Welcome to the most wanted performance at the CUNY Graduate Center. This September, we surveyed the people of the CUNY Graduate Center to determine what they would most like to see in a performance. After administering the survey on location, we received 78 responses. Those respondents range from doctoral students, faculty, food services, facilities, employees, and even visitors to the building. The performance you are about to see reflects the Graduate Center's predominant collective desires. Let's take a look at how the Graduate Center responded to the survey. The respondents asked for a 30-minute performance with a cast of five performers where the audience is mildly incorporated and focused upon. Let's take a look at content. The respondents asked for a new play that begins with a fairly still scene with multiple performers which deals with narrative exposition. The genre chosen for this performance was drama. Based on respondents' favorite geographic region, we have set the peace in Europe in a place of leisure with characters who are strangers to one another. The conflict and the peace comes from both a misunderstanding and a secret. The respondents have chosen for there to be five scenes and for the peace to have no overt political agenda. The peace will be performed in English and language is used 70% of the time. They have asked for it to be written by the creators of this performance. The respondents have asked for the movement in the piece to be traditional staging. They have asked for the quality of the movement to be realistic, simple, small, sustained, smooth, and light. <laughs> sound. Respondents want the sound to consist of songs and sound effects, and for sound to be present 50% of the time. They have asked for one minute jazz blues songs that are original and played live, and for sound effects that are literal and set the scene. The respondents have asked that the performer's voices not be amplified. The respondents have asked for the lights to have a medium intensity and for them to change an average amount of times. The dominant color of the lights will be white. The respondents do not want video used in the performance, but would like the use of props. They have asked that the costumes be representative of the content and that they have a dominant color of blue and a secondary color of white. The respondents do not want nudity. They would like the performers to wear some makeup. The respondents have asked for the piece to end in a resolution. The team here at the Most Wanted Performance have spent the last two weeks creating and rehearsing based on the responses of the CUNY Graduate Center. We have created what they most want. We would like to thank Erin Ardison, Lucy Kaminsky, and Blaise Ferrer for their help in creating this piece. Enjoy! I know. It's also about failure. 
Yeah, right? Let's all think about that. It's a good book. Have you seen the penguins? Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I'm just... Did, did you say something I about penguins? I was trying penguins? to say, um... No. Huh? I... I was choking. Um, my name is Dean Andrew Goldberg. <laughs> you can call me Dean. Mm. It's very good to meet you, Dean. I, I've been so looking forward to this. You know, I, I, I mean, it's, well, <laughs> you, you know, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm very, very glad. <laughs> you know, I've always loved this place. <laughs> There's nothing extraordinary about the smell, the colors, the breeze at night. I was born in Ohio, and I came here for the first time when I was 23, and I fell deeply in love with someone. <laughs> My love was returned to me wildly, like two rabid beasts chasing each other across the sands of the Cala de Ancaniel, the Ancantiados towering behind us. <laughs> The kind of love that hit me so hard it hurt Dean. I could barely catch my breath for days. Anyway, there are problems that eventually kept us apart. I won't go into that. That's um <coughs> wonderful. I always find something so attractive in this place. That's why I'm here. Mm. I got a job in San Diego when I was 26, and I moved there <laughs> trying to find, find the wow. same sort of feeling that I got as well. <laughs> San Dimas. Of course you are. That's, uh... That's what? <laughs> That's how it was meant to be. Right? <coughs> right? Right. I uh, am on sabbatical here in Spain. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm studying the uh, symbolism of Islamic uh, Moorish yeah. geometric yeah, yeah, yeah. patterns and references. <laughs> 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 it doesn't matter, but uh, I'm enjoying uh, Un Poco del Sol y las Vistas Agradables. <laughs> it's nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Vistas agradable de un muerte bonito. <laughs> yes. Well, the Spanish have a sort of obsession with death, not like the Mexicans, but. Yes, yes. Um, do you have any plans this evening? Well, I'm with you. That's the. I will be joining you. Of course. <laughs> that would be absolutely wonderful. Mm. I don't think I got your name. <laughs> you, 
you know. Uh, okay, so we do it like this? Oh, okay. My name is Dr. James Anderson Armstrong. But you can call me Dr. J. <laughs> just J. So, you are a doctor. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, what is your field of... Uh... This is the place. Out on the sand there. <coughs> oh, fuck. Are you okay? Do you need a glass of yeah. water? Or... No, hey. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> you know, I, I might go up to my room for a bit, but, uh... Of course, uh, I'll see you for dinner. Okay? At the, uh... <coughs> Let's meet in the lobby at seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Happiness is a penguin. Did you just say, you know, it's a coincidence because just a couple of minutes ago, I said this thing about. Uh, do penguin. I know you? Me? No. I know you. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you must be thinking about somebody else. No, I, I'm usually very good at recognizing faces. And names, not so good at, but... No, I, I know if I've seen a face, and I don't think it's I've seen doctor, you. It's me. What? I'm here. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Critchenton. I'm afraid I need to ask you not to play the piano at this hour. <laughs> Finally, here you are. Oh, you sing very well. Yes, I know. <laughs> what? You know? Yes. Well, how do you know? We we met yesterday. Huh? Well, not your full name. I saw it on a piece of paper somewhere here in the hotel. Oh, but come now. You must realize oh, that I need yes, to yes, it. you're okay. Okay, you're the one who said yes, 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 yes. yes. Well, you're a musician. No. That's, I'm sorry. No, I just, I just want to clear up yesterday's uh, misunderstanding. You, you know, you're very lovely, of course, and there's something in you that's very. Uh, Familiar, but uh, I, I, I'm quite, quite certain that we've never met. Doctor. No, oh, we're, we're meeting now. Go oh, and, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, I, I would love to get to know you more, but, um, God, how do I put this? Uh, I, I'm running out of time. Doctor, I, I don't you don't have, understand. No, I, I do understand. I'm I, here I, from... <laughs> I'm here for you. This man is joking. No, that man is joking. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please, it's holding out to eat in a buffet.
Are you a musician? Yes, I am a musician. <laughs> that was so attractive, seeing him save that man's life. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, are you two, I'm not good at this kind of thing. Are the two of you a, Are we together? Yes. No, are you? Right, no, because, well, we had dinner last night, and I thought that maybe we'd have some kind of fling on this trip. I don't know why I'm telling this to you, but it felt like so much more than that. I'm on sabbatical. <laughs> My name is Dean. And I am a dean at a university. Do you work here? What makes you think I work here? Well, you were singing next to the piano. They asked me to stop. <laughs> I'm here on business. I'm a consultant. I rent works of art to offices. Wait, you had dinner with him? Did anything happen afterwards? No. Did you two? And even if we did, but no. Thank you. I think that's why I have such strong feelings now. It was just so slow. And nice. He ordered a 250 euro bottle of wine. Did you say thank God to yourself when I said that nothing happened? Oh, I was just remembering something. So, do you have a PhD? Yes, I'm a doctor. What kind of doctor? The classics. Are you spending your entire sabbatical at a spa? Aren't you supposed to be doing research? I'm in tenure. I could do whatever I want. <laughs> but I'm lonely. I'm getting old. I thought I would meet someone here. I, I don't want to die alone. You won't. You aren't. Stop me if I'm wrong, but you didn't come here to work, did you? No. I just wanted it to seem like I had something important to do by the pool, some kind of purpose. I, I told Dr. J <laughs> I studied Moorish whatever, geometry or something. <laughs> I, I was, I'm just a boring old classics professor sitting by the pool, cruising grinder. <laughs> I'm just here to meet someone. I can't believe I lied there. Would you like to sing with me? Um, sure. <laughs> Sangria. 
Oh, no white sangria right now. Fine, red. Are you okay? I don't understand. We just went up there and talked. I thought I liked it slow, but I'm honestly getting mixed signals. We were sitting on his bed. I thought he was into me. Has he said anything to you about me? You won on mixed signals? No, I was getting from Dr. J. Oh, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Ambivalent vibes. It's prairie, prairie dog. He is prairie dogging me with his vibes. Uh, I don't think that's the right alternative for that lexicon. Yeah, I, you know, I have actual work to do. I'm on sabbatical. At the end of the semester, I got drunk and told Bob Borders that I'd never read Hamlet. And I haven't read Hamlet. And he looked shocked. And I played it off like I was joking, but now I have to actually read Hamlet and all of the versions of Hamlet in case he tries to try and humiliate me in front of everyone. I don't have time for a relationship. I don't even like Dr. J. Weeps, could I please speak with Kurt? I'll page him. Bing bong. And I'll have a white sangria. White sangria. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I've seen Dr. J. I'm supposed to have a meeting with him. He won't respond. I haven't seen him since earlier today. Looking at the book for today at 3 p.m., Dr. J. ordered a pitcher of orange juice in Chocolate Street's room. What? You told me I would be the one working out of this hotel. I traveled here from Hong Kong on short notice. I approached him with the code word you gave me. You came here from China? Don't politicize this, Kurt. I was on vacation. <laughs> you brought me back. I did it your way. Fix it. I thought you didn't work here. This is a mess. I'm going to tell him. Don't tell him. It's the only way this will end well. Dr. Brook, I'll go to jail. So, you two <laughs> are together. And you work here? No, Dean. I'm a doctor. Yeah, I'm actually a doctor, too. No, no, a medical doctor. <laughs> <laughs> a medical doctor. Did you have to take an oath to teach Hamlet? The reason I'm here in Spain is because Dean. I'm... Dean! <laughs> Dean! Dean! I, I need you. You didn't seem to need me this morning. Dean, Dean you don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid. It's not your fault, Mr. Dean. I thought this vacation would be romantic. I went to Mixers, hung out in the sauna, sat down on his hookup ass. I feel like I'll be alone forever. Plato. So what are you into? Men? I'm also into men. <laughs> Later tonight, would you like to join me at a local man bar? He's uh, waking up. <laughs> <laughs> no use hiding my true condition from you all now. <clears throat> As you know, Dean, now all of you will know I'm in the last moments of my life. It was a rather short life, I'll admit. And I tried always to live fully and with all my heart. I want you all to understand that I loved life. I took in all of its joys and all of its woes with equal intensity. What a privilege we have to feel so much in life. I never married. I never had children. That just wasn't my <laughs> But my body has given way. Never could keep up. Damn body! <laughs> Pain's too much now. There's no longer a reason to fight. I've made so many choices in my life. Why not make this <laughs> ultimate choice in the end? In this place here. Well, it was the time in my life when I was the happiest.
I'm here, Jay. We can begin when you are ready. It was you. <coughs> of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Please, everyone. I'm sorry for the confusion. Will you join me? Please. Watch me pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's my last wish. <laughs> 